Hey, I'm Anthony Joshua. Hey, what's up? I'm Israel Adesanya. And we're going to be on this week's episode of Truth or Dab. Check it out. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and welcome back to another episode of Truth or Dab, the Hot One Special, where we give our guests two simple options, tell the truth or suffer the wrath of the last dab. And today we're joined by two of the baddest men on the planet in Israel Adesanya and Anthony Joshua. Izzy is the UFC middleweight champion, one of the cover athletes of the new EA Sports UFC 4, and has a fight against Paulo Costa on September 26th. Anthony Joshua is a two-time unified heavyweight champion boxer, also a playable character in the game, but how will they fare going round for round against the last dab? I guess we'll find out today. Anthony, Izzy, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Anthony, we'll start with you. I'm curious your thoughts on YouTube personalities orchestrating boxing matches with multi-million dollar payouts. What's something that excites you about this recent trend of internet clout monsters stepping into the ring? And then what about it all do you find most embarrassing? What excites me the most is the fact that it's bringing a whole new audience to the fight game. I think that's important, so I'm happy that they're doing it. And the thing that annoys me the most is there's so much talent from the grassroots level that are trying to get their, you know, their name recognized by the bigger audience and they're struggling. So it's a world of who's popular and who can just do it versus who's talented and who's trying to get their name recognized but isn't getting a look in. So it's a catch-22, but the big benefit is more eyes on the sport will give the grassroots talent more opportunity to expose themselves to a new audience. Well said. All right, Izzy. The spotlight is on you now. I know that you're a fierce fighter, a competitor, but also a very confident professional. If you were in charge of the UFC, what's one rule change and one operational change that you would make on your first day in office? Oh man, there's so there's, there's a few, there's a few, but um, <laughs> a, a stupid one. I'd a stupid one. I'm, I'm gonna answer this twice. A stupid one is the 12 to six elbow because that is just so old you can't elbow this way you have to have it on an angle i feel like if i'm throwing my shin at your face this is pretty it's pretty all right it's pretty easy but um apart from that i'd add more weight classes between the middleweight and light heavyweight between the welterweights and middleweights uh, amongst the bigger weight classes because it starts to get a little bit wider the gap so that and the dumbass 12 to 6 elbow rule <laughs> yeah all right, through the first round, so far no wings, but we'll turn up the heat a little bit more here in the second round. And Izzy, we'll stay with you. UFC fighters seem to be in a constant state of conflict with the media that surrounds the sport. Who is the reporter or outlet that you think covers you most unfairly and why? See, I'd love to answer that one, but I blocked them in my uh, <laughs> in real life. You know, like that episode of Black Mirror where you kind of like block someone and they just became a blur. I've done that to a couple of reporters and I can't remember their name, but I know their faces. And if I did remember the name, I'd say it. Izzy, I, I think that's a dab. I think that's a dab. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait, how do we hit that? The first one, this is the first one, right? Yep. I like what you was doing there. Can't remember the name. If not, I'll put them on blast right now. I swear to God. You know me. I don't pull no plugs. Just so you guys can see it. Hold up. So you know I'm not cheating. Oh, my oh there we go. Whoa. Uh, <sighs> just a little dab. Just a dab. You ready? I'm picking the same wing up. The same wing. <laughs> Pray for me, chaps. <laughs> there we go. That smells spicy. That smells very earthy. All right, let's go. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, so far so good. I feel like I picked the first one, the right one, because that definitely might be the hardest one. And Izzy, I know you're tough, but another thing to think about is sometimes these things grow. They kind of plume a little bit. Oh no, I know. We're from Nigeria. We understand spice. Yeah, this is spice. <laughs> so I know this is this, this level one. But then between level one, there's level 1.5, and I can feel it on my lips <laughs> right now. Tantalizing, if you will. Tantalizing. <laughs> I beg now. 
So Anthony, you've had a dominating career, 23 and one professional record, including 21 knockouts. Thinking back on your career, which includes four fights that ended in the first round, which opponent would you say was your easiest win? I would say Emmanuel Leo. So I've come to the ring now, straight after the Olympics. I'm fresh from my amateur career. He was at uh, eight fights in, eight wins. This is my professional debut and I went in there and hit him with, uh, like I would call it the George Foreman because it was just swinging from the hips. Boom, boom, and I hit him with the last one. <laughs> Bang! Lights out, KO. Pro debut going well, and it's the start of the professional career. There it is. All right, we are through three rounds. Lots of truth here and truth or dab to start things off. Anthony, you're a champion boxer, an Olympic gold medalist, but beneath that chiseled veneer, I know that the man who was awarded the most excellent order of the British Empire by the queen herself has a softer side. What's the last movie that made you cry? <laughs> Did you want me to try this? Yeah. You do? <laughs> <laughs> if you're asking, yeah, I do. All right. It's not that bad. The first one's not that bad. But it smells I bad. I think you'll be all right. It smells I've already got some in here. Case. I've already got my, just so you know, I'm not cheating. I'm gonna just, add just try, just, just try even just the skin, just the skin. It's not that bad. It actually tastes quite good. There you can see here, add it in there. I want to do my job boys. <laughs> All right, let me know. One, two, four, one, nine. One, two, four, one, nine. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm tapping, oh, I'm tapping, I'm tapping. You see it there? Can you see? That's good. That's, <laughs> That's easy. Yeah? I promise you, it's not that bad. You're good. Is that a lot? You'll be right. Israel, is Look, that I a lot? I ate this much. I, I ate this much. You'll be right. Mm. Light work, light work. Nah, this one. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's just like, like chicken suwa. It's yeah. just like chicken suya. It's just like chicken suya. You know? mm -hmm. hey, hey. This one ain't too bad. This one's not too bad. Exactly, I'm telling you. Just like a dipping sauce. Mm. So this one I would say is suitable for family functions, barbecues, Christmas dinners. This one is acceptable in the household. Izzy, what is Dana White's most annoying habit that people who don't work with him closely like you do might not know about? I'd say it's what makes him great, but also what makes him susceptible. He's very emotional. I'd say in business, sometimes he gets very emotional, but that's also what put the UFC on the map to where it is today. But I'd say he's very emotional. That's hindered him a couple of times in the past. Going into the last round here already. 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 We touched the middle sauce. All right, Izzy. Mm -hmm. Eye gouges, greasing, blows below the belt. Oh. They're all a stain on this great sport we know as mixed martial arts. Who, in your opinion, though, is the dirtiest fighter in the sport? Ooh, the dirtiest fighter in the sport. There's a few, but even the guy I'm fighting next, like I said, I'm gonna pop him before Usada does, but he has definitely got some extra supplements south of the border that he takes. And he even came out <laughs> saying that he hasn't been tested, which I don't, I don't believe I believe they test. I just got tested last night. How about that? Right chance. Exactly. I just got tested last night. I don't understand the stress it takes to cheat. That's for me. But you know what? I just feel like trying this one anyway. So I might try a little bit on, on one of these chicken wings. Just to see. We can't just go through the whole thing with only trying one sauce. We gotta break at least two. At least two. Bro, this, this first one's still, still tingling my tongue and my lips. It's I'm, tantalizing, my guy. It's tantalizing <laughs> my mouth. I'm sipping oh my, my God, water. This one, it takes about probably 10 minutes and it's already gone. This one, let me see. I'll just do a little coat. You ready? We're ready. All right. Ooh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Wow, it jumps <laughs> up to level. Oh my God, my guy, I beg. It jumps up in levels. Yeah. It's like, if this is level three, this is level six. <laughs> and this, all I did was lick my finger and I, I saw what you did, I saw what you quick. did, but let me just oh. try it. Let me just try a bit before I bite this whole chicken up. Oh man. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's still kicking. That is a big jump in levels. This, like you said, family functions, all that. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. Ate yeah. someone. 
If you hate someone, this is easily something you can put in your food. <laughs> God damn. Well, I'll try a little bite though, because I know bitch. <laughs> ah, Ilya. <laughs> Woo! Okay, with the meat, it's all right. But that first kick, though, that, watch, that was It's going to kick in. It's going to kick in 100%. Oh, yeah, of course, man. That slow burner. All right, Anthony. Last question. We talked about boxers fighting outside the rules, but I'm curious. Can you name a fighter or promoter who you suspect has been involved in actually fixing a boxing match? <laughs> Spill the tea. Spill but this, the tea. Isn't, <laughs> this, this isn't current promoters. I'm taking you back, right? And oh, I'll say Don King. Oh, that's the easy answer. Yeah. I want the tea, son. <laughs> Spill He's the still tea. current, though, but the tea... I don't believe anyone's doing that anymore. But years ago, the Mafia was involved in boxing. There was a lot of um, organizations that was involved in boxing. It was still a developing sport. Um, so there was a lot of uh, interest in business going on. Now the sport's very clean. It's a very well-structured organization. I don't think any, any corrupt moves happen. Well, there you have it. Another truth or dab is in the books. Make sure to pick up your copy of EA Sports UFC 4, available now, and check out Izzy taking on Paulo Costa on September 26th. Guys, thank you so much. A lot of truth, a little bit of dab. Had a lot of fun doing this. Look at from, from New Zealand, from England, here in New York, all over the time zones, truth or dab. Until next time, everybody just be careful around your eyes. You wanna try one, Jim? If his boy tries one, you gotta try the first one. Come sit down, come sit down with me, bro. Come sit down, come sit down. Hey, come here, come here, come here. Pull up. Bring your chair, bring your chair, bring your chair. We're all gonna go in now. <laughs> Has he done it? What's up? What's up, Jimmy? He hasn't done it yet. I love this. We've got a vegan this. here as well. I can't, bro. It's gonna ruin my day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, I gotta go to sleep after this. You You're not sleeping. <laughs> no, bro. Yeah. Over the next two hours. All right, you ready? Triple X. Izzy, are you doing it? Are you doing it? If you do it, I'll do it. Yeah. Come on, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm on Nigeria. We're from Ogun State. Ogun State. Ogun State. Ogun State. Yo, they know that. Ah. Shango. Shango Lele now. I'm on a go. Just from the here. spoon. Right, he's a vegan. So there's no chicken. He's just doing it from the spoon. He's a vegan. Right. No worries. Hey, respect, bro. All right, one, two, three. Let's go. Ooh. Wait. Okay, hold up. Now it's in the back. <laughs> you can feel it here. Feel that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. You more way go have Vagi Sao. Oh, that's spicy. It's starting to kick it's in. It's delayed. Bit. It's a delayed, it's a delayed feeling. Do you know what it is? As you're answering the questions, yeah, it starts playing in the back of your mind. Yeah, it starts. Well, if you keep your mouth moving as well, if you keep your mouth moving, it kind of helps, like fan yeah. it. That's right. Yeah, it just slowly comes. Try this one as well. Yeah, hit after. You have that. There you go. I can feel it on the lips. It's on the lips, yeah, yeah, it kicks you on the lips yeah. straight away, isn't it? Oh. Champ, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Oh, Let it, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, man. That's good. Good luck, man. Like, nah, I'm out. I'm out. Thank you, guys. All right, brother. See you guys. Thank you. Oh. Hey, what's going on, Hot Ones fans? This is Sean Evans checking in with a very exciting announcement. Hot Ones Truth or Dab the Game is finally here, baby. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Well, the kit comes complete with 250 question cards, and then here's how the game works. You just go around the table, you take turns being the host, being the players, and when you're a player and you get asked a question, you have a choice, just like in the show. Answer it honestly or suffer the wrath of the last dab and take a look at this. There's even a mini bottle of the last dab included. I suggest you have napkins on hand. You have to have some milk on hand. And of course, be careful. Be very careful around the eyes. Hot Ones Truth or Dab, the play at home game is available at shop.firstwefeast.com and heatness.com. Play at your own risk. Wings not included. <laughs>